Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop. And this one is an HP Pavilion Gaming 15-EC series laptop. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM for this one. People keep always asking what's the maximum RAM capacity for your PC, for your laptop. I made a really short 30 seconds or 40 seconds video showing how you can find out what's your maximum RAM capacity on your laptop. Check the link in my video description if you guys want to know. We did have, we have upgraded this laptop up to 16 gigabyte with no issue. We had no need to go up to 32, but I'm sure you can go up to 32 gig on this one with no problem. Um, but in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to open it, how you remove, how you can add those RAMs. All right, the process is really easy. By doing this, you're not going to and damage your system or do any modification on your system it's just pretty much plug in and play so first thing first you want to power off the laptop you want to flip it upside down and you want to grab yourself a screwdriver set i'm going to be using an ifix screwdriver set and from this set i'm going to be using a phillips number one if you get the pro set they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers and few other stuff if not get the basic set uh, for the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. So with this tool on hand, we're going to, on the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There's a three on the front of the laptop and four at the back. These are the four at the back are really long screws and the one in the front are short ones. Go ahead and remove them and keep them in a separate file. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a great support and motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Alright, now that we removed the screws, all we need to do to open, grab the opening tool. We're going to go towards the, where the USB and power connector is right in here. We're going to stick the opening tool right under the USB right there. Find a little place to stick it right in there. And we're going to flip it towards the back way, outside like that, and you're going to see that clipped opening right there. You want to keep doing this every one centimeter towards the front end of the laptop corner. And you want to do the same thing all the way in the front side, all the way to the back corner on the other side. Keep doing this, and you're going to see here a few clicks. That's what you want to hear. Those are the clips that are getting loose. So don't be scared and keep snapping those clips and done. Once you did all the front sides to the cornerback, all you need to do is to grab it from the front end, lift up a little bit, it's focusing, let me see, there. bring it up and uh, wiggle it a little bit and it will release the back end, it just open up. So that's the bottom cover, put that one to one side. Right down here you're going to see and the rams are covered by the plastic right here so you can either remove it just pull it up peel it up like that and the ssd is right under there too put it to one side people always say that you remove why don't you disconnect the battery to do this process you do not need to remove the battery to do the ram upgrade it's absolutely not necessary if you disconnect the battery you're going to lose the configuration on the bios if you have configured the buy anything in the bios it's going to reset to default not, it's not a big thing, but if you want to disconnect the battery, just pull these two triggers backward and the battery will get disconnected like that. But to do upgrades, you do not need to disconnect the battery. I'm just going to plug it back in. Alright, back to the RAM. The RAM is right here. There's a two RAM DIMMs available. These are DDR4 RAMs. To remove the RAMs, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle like that. You can see. Once the RAM comes out in 45 degree angle, all you need to do is to grab it and pull it out in the same 45 degree angle. To put it back together, you want to make sure the notch on the RAM, in here it says 8 gig DDR4, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM. So if you try to put it the other way around, it will not simply go through because the notch is not matching. So bring it in 45 degree towards the DIMM all the way towards the dim and then simply push it towards the motherboard and you're going to see these triggers open and close like that and that's what you want to hear 
if you have another 8 gag, you want to bring it in here in 45 degree angle all the way make sure it goes through the jack it clicks in and then push it towards the motherboard and it will click those clippers again remove 45 pull it out this is brand new dim so it takes a little more force to put in this one it goes in like a butter sometimes it goes really smooth sometimes you have to flick it in and then towards the motherboard now this is very important once you put the new both of the ram in there once you have both of the rams in there and you power on after five to ten seconds if you don't get anything on the screen then you want to power off and then put the new ram in here first and then power on the laptop once you get the logo for hp logo you want to power it off quickly and then place the old ram on the second dim right there and power on wait five to ten seconds and it will work that's something to do with the bios and motherboard so you might want to do that yeah, sometimes it does fix it we, we've been doing this for many years and and i don't know why sometimes the bios doesn't want to recognize the new ram so you just have to switch the places take turns putting them together all right now that we have the ram upgrade if you have upgraded yours good then push back down the connector for the battery and the last thing would be to just grab the bottom cover, put it straight on top, push the corners in, make sure it doesn't snap. The back end, the, right there. And if you see any opening like this, you just want to pinch it really hard, nicely, and it will click in. And the last thing would be to just grab the bottom screws and put them in place. The back, long ones goes at the back and the short one goes in the front. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I am going to power on the laptop so you guys can see that it does turn on. So people always keep saying that you killed it by not removing the battery. But yeah, what can you do? so when you turn up because i removed the battery and put it back together so i'm gonna get a, a text saying that cmos is reset to default there you go no both device because i don't have any operating system installed but you might get a, a cmos is reset if you disconnect it more than five seconds and that's it so i'm gonna press escape or control to delete and tap on escape to go to the bios escape for startup f10 and there we go, we have 8 gig RAM right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Alright, and that's it for this, today's video.